So, and cause and effect and cause. BT transfers his AI to your helmet so that he can communicate across time shifts. And all the, like, the really in-depth Titanfall players know that at the end, uh, yeah, at the end, BT flickers in Morse code Jack, question mark, in the helmet. So we know he's in there. We know he's in the helmet. And we know he's definitely working in the helmet properly in effect and cause past timeline. Which means that his... Oh, crap. Okay, I'm going to finish that thought later. Live fire, you say? <gasps> oh, I can drop the flag because I'm a face of pilot. Okay, I need to use that. Next round, I guess. Oh, so as I was saying, um, so you're playing the game, you're dying all the time, you're learning things, it's, you got this HUD, so it's like the pilot playing the game is looking through a helmet, and then affecting cause happens, and then we realize that BT has been in the helmet the whole time. What if the origin of the helmet is that Somehow it got to Last Mimosa from being found somewhere in effect and cause. And all of your knowledge as a pilot playing the game, because you've seen so many lives through your your helmet, uh, your screen, whatever it is you're playing on, all that information ends up getting put into the helmet. And that explains why Jack can do things like speedrun the game even though the NPCs in the video game would believe that he is simply psychic. Does that make any sense? <laughs>